Hello everyone and welcome to Trine University. I'm Dr. Angela Bojrab. I'm a professor of science here. Um, and this is our anatomy and physiology room with our anatomage table. Um, we are super lucky to have this table here at Trine as it is a wonderful piece of technology that we were able to purchase for our students to help enhance their knowledge in the areas of health sciences and forensic science. We use this table for a variety of classes and a variety of reasons. We also allow our students to use this to help them do some of their own research if they become curious on how to do things. We have the ability to remote into this table, so even during times when, they can't, when students can't be in class, we can go ahead and have them come in and use the table at their own home, which is really neat and a nice uh, feature for them. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at a true human cadaver, someone who has donated their body to science for the betterment of education in science. And what we can do with this table is we can go right through the system so we can have our skin right into our muscles and you can see all of the human muscles. This is just a normal 46 year old male who died of natural causes. And we can go all the way down and we can take this table and go all the way through the entire body system. While well, you could stop and you can click on it and it'll tell you we're on the eighth rib, okay? We can go keep going down all the way through into the nervous system. We can look at all of the blood vessels, the arteries, which are the red and the blue, which is the vein. You can even take it further and take away the arteries and the veins and look directly at the brain and the spinal cord. So those are some of the interesting things that we can do. If you come back all the way up to here, we can make cuts in the human cadaver as um, in different ways. We can go ahead and just splice it in half and we can rotate it and we can look at the human body from a side view. Looking at different things like up in here is the brain and we can see the intestines right in here, the spinal cord in a side section. We can also actually dissect it just like we would. And let me go to that next thing. We'll just pull it up. So we can make a cut in our human cadaver where we would use the scalpel just as if you were a surgeon. And you can draw and double click and it'll take a minute to load. And we can even look at it in a side view fashion. So you can flip the patient even all the way over and see directly through the body and still looking at the stomach right lining right there. So that is some of the things that our table can do for us. Another thing that we can do are case studies, which is a pretty interesting concept. So what we have here, this is a 79 year old male who had fallen on a um, sidewalk. He presented to his doctor's office and was worried about the facial swelling. Well, if you're looking at the, if you're looking at the computer image of, their, of this patient's face, you can see the swelling here on the left eye versus the non-swelling on the right. And what we can do is we can actually compare. You have your image over here and then you have your MRI over here. If you're looking in this area, right in here is a very gray area. That area, this is the left side of the body, this area is filled with blood. It's swollen and filled with blood where you can see the nice clear opaque side on the right. So where that patient didn't fall, that area is open. Here, where you see letter D, that is um, an open nasal passageway. Everything else is filled with blood. The cool thing is, is we can continue on with our axial imaging, and we can see, again, looking at where we're, we're orienting ourselves. Here's your eyes, okay? But when you're looking at your orbital rim fractures, what you're seeing is right in here on the circles, you'll see the fracture pieces. So when this patient fell, they fell and hit their head on the curb, basically pushing in their orbital region. And then what you'll look at here, again, you can see that facial swelling, 
But as we go through and go down farther into the bone region, again, making that prominent um, a fracture. So as a student, you can learn about the process of how the fracture occurred. You can use this then in your medical studies as you get older into, the, into your career. You can actually plan for surgical procedures. How would you want to treat this patient? And that's some of the things that we talk about in some of the courses that we do here at Trine, such as your you know, pathologies or the uh, anatomy and physiology courses. Um, so we love this piece of technology, and we can't wait for you to come put your hands on it and use it. Thank you.